where I'm here. I work with John Reynas, so he, uh, he sends me my workouts customized. So we're doing shoulders and biceps today. We're still doing uh, higher volume stuff, so right now everything's between like 14 18 reps. He's throwing in a little FST7 training as well, as far as like you'll see that at the end of the shoulder workout today. And uh, a couple supersets, so we'll be bouncing back and forth pretty quick. And biceps, same thing, some supersets. Everything's higher reps this week, so nothing crazy on the weight, but still, uh, still get in with some good reps and stuff. So, first exercise we're gonna do. Hopefully no one takes it, because that's pretty pretty hard to do at LA Fitness. Just keep two things going. So we're going to try and keep the rope at a cable. We have face pulls, and we're going to do dumbbell shoulder press. So the rope face pulls, we're doing a two second negative contract or a decentric motion, so two seconds negative. And on dumbbell shoulder press, we're doing heavy to light drop sets. So we're doing first set is 10 to 14 right into a set of 14 to 18. So, should be fun. We got four rounds. So that was a warm-up set, now we're going to jump into it. Um, I always do at least one warm-up set usually, to start off every exercise. And uh, right now we're doing 60 second like, rest time, as he has written down here, so we'll be moving pretty quick.
Drop for that. Drop six. I've been going up five, but basically I knew I was not going to get like 14 to 18 good reps. So I'll still change up my weights. Like, I feel like a lot of people think like once they go up, they can't go back down. Um, but I may adjust them as I need to. Like 90 was definitely challenging for 10, whereas I know I'm not going to go up again. I stay at 90 again for 10, and that was definitely enough for. Uh, 55 or 20 for 14 to 18 reps. So, I mean, I kind of play my sense by how I feel and stuff. Like, if I knew I was going to get 10 at 90s, I'm not going to do them just because I went up to 90. I can't go backwards. I'll go down if I really feel like I need to, but I should be good for 90 for a time. You think I know what we're doing next, but I feel like I my phone so many times to figure out what I'm doing next. Lateral raise, four sets, four, 14 to 18 reps, incline bench, lateral raises, facing down, facing down. Gotta look that one up. Facing down. Okay. I never did these before, actually. So I guess it's like a lateral raise, just so incline. I've always done for like rear delts when I'm facing into the pad, so that'll be different. We're doing like something like this. I've always, always did for like rear delts, so a little different. That's why he does my stuff, though. Take me out of my comfort zone, so. Nothing's fancy with these, these are just straight sets then. Uh, super set, so lateral raise right into the incline. I think I can probably grab that one. Incline laterals are 10 to 14. Hmm. That's okay. Like I said, I look at it 20 times, I still don't even know it. <laughs>
try it sometime. Yeah. I'm going to judge next week when I get back. I think we end with, uh, he threw some FS, FS, F, FST7 <laughs> training. This week's workout. Mainly for like posing and stuff to help. So on here, I have a uh, plate front raises, seven sets, 14 to 18 reps. And we're looking at alternating holding contractions and stretches between the sets. Rest periods are only 30 to 45 seconds. So literally I'm doing a set and just kind of holding that muscle as far as the contraction. Sometimes I'll stretch, but for the most part I'm usually contracting. Definitely helps with uh, posing. I say because the whole time you're posing, you're contracting your muscles, so it's kind of more so conditioning for that. So this is the first time I'm incorporating it into my like workout program. So I'm excited to see how it goes. I did it with back yesterday. It's pretty tough. Pretty tough. It's not too impressive as you saw this whole workout. I mean, doing 20 pounds, 30 pounds is not too exciting to watch, but the method that goes into it is kind of more so what I think people get out of it and try and just throw something different instead of moving as much weight as you can. So, of course it was like empty when we first came in here, now it's... Everyone wanted to come yeah, to the gym. I know. I heard you were coming, man. Are you on the set? No, it's all yours, man. I'm just holding my shoulders up and really just contracting right in here, my front delt. It looks dumb as shit, that's why I came back here, but <laughs> so you do it, you don't understand. <laughs> Arms feel like 100 pounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
how many there was. No. Is that four <laughs> sets? <laughs> One more. That work. That was our ending exercise for shoulders. And now uh, we got a couple supersets for biceps. So you have incline dumbbell curls. We have spider dumbbell curls and Zotman curls. You know what Zotman curl is? Nope. Me neither. That's why we Google it. <laughs> Been bodybuilding for how many years? Still don't know what some of these things are. What is Zotman curl? I don't know if he looks like a reliable source. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's just like a reverse curl on the way down. Gotcha. I've seen them, just don't know the terminology. Give them a try. So you got, that's a big, that's a big superset. So incline bench curls, spread dumbbell curls, stopman curls. Alright.
Sauna. Shoot, we did that work on that was an hour, long. about an hour. So how many weeks out are you now? Uh, right now, Saturday will be 11 weeks out from the USA's. Maybe doing a warm-up show in uh in New York. The I think it's the Eastern Championships. It's a uh, Beth Francis show and. Uh, that one is July 7th, I want to say. So I may be hopping that one just to kind of dial in, make sure everything goes as planned, um, just as a quick run through. So that's the plan right now, is do a warm up show July 7th and then go out to Vegas for USA's and do, uh, do that for my pro card. So weight's still depending if we're doing middle or light heavy, it kind of depends on what the scale wants to do with me. I'm a weird breed, my, the skill never moves for me when I'm in prep. I started prep at like 205, right now I'm like 200, and I've been in prep for five weeks now. So it's just weird how the skill doesn't really go down too much as I get leaner. So we'll see, I'm not gonna force myself into weight class. I got like a lot of feedback from the past couple years I tried to make it into the middle. So wherever I uh, land weight wise is kind of where I'll fall. So. Next time we'll do something other than uh, shoulders and biceps, because I know we got we got like three videos now on that. So do something different next time. 